いここのこやみSwoop engine accelerator with you? I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, You won't stand a chance. Gavin, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is in state. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the ankles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track.
People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Vex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Vex treachery, I'm withdrawing Falcon's share of the victory prize. Fool! Your traditions are nothing to me. I am afraid for the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brzezik. Underestimate the strength of the Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! Oh. 
Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swift race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. Karth of Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Not win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive. Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Khan. I'm a member of the Jedi. My battle meditation abilities help the Republic. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task.
Tuam jiji yu malith pa ang ningko tu. Shag jikin lor jau. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated, so I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. 
I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Just tell her Kandorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch code. Normally, I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both... Vassala, I was wondering something. How did those Vulkers manage to capture a famous... No, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using... Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no... My lightsaber... Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean... This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary jet. I hardly consider myself a legend, Carl. Basila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to... That was nearly five years ago. I was still in I guess. Still, do you- Do not blame Revan- There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the- So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us in the post? We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives- Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer. And then- You asked me if I think things could have- Yeah, right. And every single- <laughs> Kipuna, bona na kichu, kim ba mule radwana, don kim ba no kudnok nek, kava numpa kum pialia monokata, ranga kun bi. Can chopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun, ha kunchin kopa? Run.
weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how Hachu a punky, tang a mokao dang ya foki. Tinku ukapa, topa no aska, chi nisko ne akava ambaka.
Kava dumpa kapalia monapata, bona na kac... Witimem bon rang thong, mutka gin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kumbes. What? What can I do? Sure. Sure. <laughs> 
Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. 
Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the Dark Side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. <laughs> can I do? What? What? 
Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the... Fair enough, but don't take too long. I figured you'd be there. Now, so... Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not play. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both... While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got... Billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Man. I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cath hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. 
I'm sure Kandras has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davik. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorus was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Kahlo. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure... No sense waiting around here, though. idea of barging in here. Get out of here, I'll call Pudu. Tony Rama no Hey baby, wait! I, I was Okay, I guess it was an honest mistake. Give me the you better pay more attention to where you're going. Ah! 
How dare he invade my chambers? How rude! How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of... That is no excuse for incompetence! I gave very specific orders that were... Don't work for Davik. Then what is... I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible, anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them on- You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have- We've got what we came for. We should get going. Yes? Sure. Damn no shit, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on the sooner or later. Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it work, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. You may have me now gun, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Bring this whole hangar down around our ears.
Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in.
Tantooine. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers.